All right, a uh, a second album from Death Rose. Definitely something I'm looking forward to, or I was looking forward to. Uh, the first album uh, from this, uh, what is it, Calgary, Alberta, Canada-based uh, Death Rash metal band, very much a, in a traditional style. Um, I guess the first one was very much, it just sounded like Bolt. Uh, Demolition Hammer, and I, that's there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, there was some influence from early death, uh, like Scream Bloody Gore, uh, very much the, the the late '80s death thrash metal sound as it pertained to what most people eventually considered brutal thrash metal, or a step between uh, late '80s thrash metal and death thrash, which was you know. It's all relevant, right? Uh, basically, a band that was as heavy as Malevolent Creation, but uh, still very much in the lineage of classic thrash with some what I would consider Dark Angel-influenced traits, which we could also find in uh, Devastation's uh, final album and uh, bands like Gamicide and that kind of thing. So we were along those lines, or they were along those lines on the first album, and now this second album kind of picks up a little bit more death metal um and more of their own personality and the way that i saw it was there's a little bit more uh eat, like eaten back to life era cannibal corpse in here just for lack of a better uh sort of similar approach to drumming uh there's more blasts in here something you'll find in um everything from uh like inquisitor or Again, like Stillborn era, Malevolent Creation. And then there's a little bit more of a Pestilence influence on this record as well, as far as like what I picked up. Uh, uh, Chris from Skeletal Remains uh, appears on two tracks here. One of them is an actual Demolition Hammer cover. Um, you know, I'm not big on covers, but, you know, if you're going to just kind of hit the song just right, there you go. That's as much as anybody would want out of that. Um, but otherwise... There's nothing to really say about this album. If you heard the first one, it's better. Uh, it sounds better. Their drumming is way better. Uh, and it kind of carries the record out, you know, beyond just sort of the appeal of the riffs and the rapid fire of all, all of it. Um, so, very straightforward uh, review for me. Uh, doesn't need to take up a lot of time, but... It's one that I'll remember because I like where this band is going. I think that what I, I think the main point that I make in this review is that these types of bands, which are often seen as sort of worship or um, continuing a certain niche tradition, are best when they continue iterating at that same speed, or they just kind of jump on into whatever else they might be interested in. In this case, I like that they're iterating. I like that they're. Uh, approaching a similar style, a similar combination of things they like about classic death thrash metal and doing great work with it. I think I really got into this record around the third listen. I started paying more attention to the middle of the record. I think a lot of the best songs land in the middle of the record. Um, I think uh, there's a couple here. Wretched Formations of Flesh is a big one. I think that you get a lot more of the death metal side of the band and they're actually quite good at it. Uh, in terms of the, the drummer really picking up a lot of those techniques and fleshing them out with sort of more standard death thrash battery. And um, uh, I guess, um, what was it? Uh, Gruesome Tools of Torture. It was just kind of like the, the standard set for the album. I, I liked uh, where they were going with that. Um, I would hate to say change it thing, anything, you know, because I think if they continue doing this and just finding... Uh, ways to extract more of their own ideas and personality with it. That's kind of the, the best case scenario from my point of view as a fan of this type of music. But I understand, uh, you know, they might want to go in various directions with it. Uh, as is, I think this is a great follow-up. I think it, it kind of makes me like the first album a little bit more. It kind of puts their work in context a little bit more. And it, it's just a, a better idea and a better version of themselves. And that's all I could really ask for a band uh, putting out their second record. So... Yeah, it was a good one.